Well, good morning, everyone. Take your Bible to Mark chapter number three, all the way to the end of the chapter. We're going to cover something that might be a little confusing if you take it out of context or you take it too far. But but Jesus reveals the kind of relationship we should have, uh, we should expect with fellow believers. It's it's like being in a new family. And and uh, be sure you understand he's not saying that his own family doesn't matter or that uh, our families don't matter. But he is saying that there's a different kind of relationship that we should have with our church family, uh, that we have a responsibility there and we should expect a certain amount of responsibility in return. And and what he is also revealing is that his, his own family isn't his eternal family yet because they don't even believe that he's on the right mission. Right before these verses, uh, I believe his G- Jesus' family was probably planning uh, some intervention on his behalf because they thought maybe he had gone crazy, that maybe there was a problem with what he was doing, that it was going to be really a, an excommunicable des- t- t- type of circumstance where he's going to be thrown out of out of the synagogues, thrown out of the culture. Uh, he was going to be canceled in some ways. And so they were trying to save him from himself instead of believe that he was telling the truth. So listen to what happens. And then, and, uh, there came, uh, verse number 31, uh, there came then his brethren and his mother and, and standing without sent unto him, calling him and multitudes sat about him. And they said unto him, behold, thy mother and thy brethren without seek uh, for thee. And he answered them saying, who is my mother and my brethren? And I'm assuming there was a gesture here. He's like, who is that? Uh, who, who's my real family? As if he's pointing to the crowd, so to speak. Uh, and, and he looked around about on them, which sat uh, around about and says, Behold, my mother and my brethren, uh, for whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. And he's basically saying that, that people that believe in Christ, that people that are involved in, in fulfilling the will of God and the purposes of God, that's the actual family. And today we have many that are saying, well, I don't have time for a relationship with God and his people because I'm busy doing my first responsibility, which is take care of my family, which is actually one step wrong. The first responsibility you have is to the Lord. And then because your God is first, you can take care of your family. And so don't misunderstand what he's saying here. He's not saying, I don't love my family. He's saying, my family doesn't believe in the purpose and the mission. And so those that are fellow believers are my new family. And and really, we need to love our new family with, the, with, our, with that kind of love that we give to our earthly family, that, except that God is now our number one priority. And so for the last couple of days, we've been talking about a priority and the priority is Jesus reveals it that your forever family is the family that you should long to be with and and what would be awesome is is if you drew your entire family to the Lord and so let that be an encouragement to you today live for Jesus live for God's purposes and bring your family along with you so that your family can do the same we want we want all of our brothers sisters our moms and dad we want everyone uh, to be in the kingdom of God. And so be encouraged, prioritize your relationship with the Lord, and that will pull your family into faith as well. Have a great day.